Hey guys, welcome back. So today's viewer question is from BCM Wolverine, aka BRAD. And BRAD wants to know uh, how to disable the auto lock feature on his 2006 Crown Vic LX. So first off, I'll tell you a little bit how the auto lock feature works and which Panther cars it's available on. So starting in 1992 up to 2011, uh, the auto lock feature was available. And uh, how it works is it will automatically lock all four doors uh, when you set off on your trip, uh, given that a few criteria is met. And that criteria is the engine will have to be running, uh, the transmission will have to be in any gear, and as soon as you hit three miles per hour, uh, the car will automatically lock all four doors. So that can be a pretty nice uh, feature to have uh, based on your application, but I also think it's nice of them uh, to give us the option to disable it and enable it uh, based on our preference. And another thing I do want to mention, in 2006 they also added the auto unlock feature and uh, how that works is once you get to your destination, once you shut off the engine and then open the driver door, uh, the three other doors will automatically unlock. And uh, that can be pretty nice to have, or if you don't want it, you, can ha you have the option to uh, disable it. So uh, right now I'll tell you about the uh, disabling and enabling procedure. And uh, this procedure is uh, very similar for all the cars from 1992 to 2011. But this procedure that I'm going to show you today is only going to work on the 2006 to 2011. And if you've got a 2005 to 1992 Panther car, uh, look in the description down below. And I've put a link to the uh, owner's manual and just look it up for your particular year. And... Uh, it's, in, it's under the lock section, and it, it'll be a slightly uh, different procedure. So uh, a quick note before you get into the programming uh, uh, mode. You've got to make sure the hood is closed, the trunk is closed, and all four doors are closed. But you can see I've got my driver door open uh, just to give you a better view of these switches. But uh, the car, uh, think thinks the door is closed because I have the latch pinned right now. So uh, keep that in mind. So the first thing you've got to do is you've got to turn the key uh, to the run position but don't start the engine. And we'll wait for these uh, bing bongs to go away. Okay then you're going to come over here to the unlock uh, switch and you're going to hit it three times. And then you're going to turn the key off, and then you're going to hit it three times again. And then turn the key back on. Now, maybe you just heard the lock cycle. Uh, that'll let you know you're into programming mode. And now, to disable it or enable it, you're going to push the unlock button once, and then the lock button once. And what you just heard is you heard uh, two horn chirps, a short horn chirp and a long horn chirp. And that lets you know that I have now enabled uh, the auto lock feature. And if I had disabled it, it would have just given one horn chirp, the short horn chirp. So to get out of programming mode, you just turn the key off. And uh, now I'll show you how to do the uh, how to enable or disable the auto unlock feature it's basically the same the same procedure but the last two steps are reversed so again uh, turn the key to the run position but don't start the engine hit it three times turn it off turn it on and then now we're going to hit the lock and then unlock. So right now uh, you only heard one short horn chirp and that means the auto unlock feature is now disabled. And to get out of programming mode you just turn the key off. 
Okay, well, uh, thanks again for BRAD for uh, submitting this question. And if you guys have any other questions, uh, just let me know in the comments below. All right, uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.